Hello! In this video I will show you guys how I made and edited this photo shoot showing three lighting setups that I made in my home studio. I made this photo shoot in 2021 but I still think that is a good content to learn a little bit of lighting. Like every project, I always think a lot about the clothing, the colors and the makeup. These steps are super important to create a theme. For this shoot that I call primary colors, I decide to work with the primary colors like yellow, red and blue. I usually don't like to do a direct theme, that's why some of the colors are a little bit desaturated. Editing is also important, but definitely not the most important step in a photo shoot. My amazing team was made by Jen on the hair, the model is the amazing Clara and the makeup artist Christine. Since our idea was to change the makeup and make it darker, we decided to start with the beige look uh, with a messy hair and dewy makeup. For the lighting, I used my 7 inches umbrella in front of the model to create a very diffused lighting. I also added a second light on her side with no diffusers because I wanted to create a cut defined lighting to show more the glowing makeup and also to make the background wider. Here are the results and by the end of the video I will show you how I edit these images. For the second look we decided to create a graphic eyeliner with wet baby hairs and I was absolutely in love with the look. And this setup is super simple, I just used a frontal strobe light with uh, a snood to create a dramatic focal light. And here are the results. That day was beautiful, so we decided to go out and do some photos outdoors. I do have a lot of things to say about outdoor photos and please let me know in the comments if you would like to know what are my tips and tricks to create amazing photos outside and how to use the environment at your favor. But just to explain real quick, the sun was not facing the model, the sun is bouncing in a window in front of her, so this is a good way to having the harsh and direct sunlight but in a very balanced way. This is a comparison with and without using the window as a reflector. So my quick tip for now is find the light. And last but not least, we have our blue outfit and for this scenario I create a blue background using a blue gel on the strobe light behind the model and facing the background. So in front of the model I use a snoo to create this dramatic uh, lighting but with a orange gel, respecting the analog combination from the color wheel. And here are the results. On Lightroom, I changed the color profile to Faithful, apply the lens correction, and correct the exposure of the photos. In Photoshop, I start using the patch tool to correct some details of the skin. And please, don't forget to always duplicate your original image by pressing Ctrl J. This photo was not 100% in focus for some reason, so I decided to use the frequency separation and duplicate the texture layer. So if you want to know more about editing like frequency separation, dodge and burn, etc., please let me know in the comments. And if this video is helping you somehow, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I do have some tricks to keep the image natural, even using frequency separation, that is known to be a very dramatic editing tool and also very easy to lose control of the editing and let the skin with a fake aspect. Now with the dodging burning, I finished the skin editing, matching the tones of the skin and making it more even. This is 
kind of personal style, but I love to create a luminosity curve mask to make the image more contrasty and also with the desaturated tones. And sometimes I play around with uh, camera raw filters and adapt the colors to fit the mood. Sometimes I like to change the background of the Photoshop to white to make sure that the exposure of the photo is correct. In this photo, I love the color of the filter that I choose but I didn't want to mess up with the texture so that's why I changed the mode of the layer of the filter to color so it only affects the colors of the image and not the texture to clean the background I usually use fill sensitive content and also the patch tool and the stamp tool so I'm planning to do a video specifically about these tools and how to clean the background and when I use each tool So thank you so much for all of you guys that watch until now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know uh, any ideas that you want to see here. And if you want to, to see more about those vlogs and how I edit those images and yeah, stay safe. <laughs>